Hey guys, it's Miss Deluto. Let's take a look at scales without units. So an example of a scale without units would be one to four. What this scale is telling us is that one unit represents four of those same units in real life. So an example could be one centimeter to four centimeters. Another example could be one inch to four inches. Another example could be one foot to four feet. So anytime you see a scale without units, you must assume that the units represented by those numbers are the same. What this is also telling us is the actual object, the actual object is then four times bigger than the drawing. Four times bigger. An example of this would be looking at one centimeter to four centimeters. So four centimeters is four times as big as one centimeter. Four inches is four times as big as one inch. Four feet is four times as big as one foot. So now how can we write scales without units? So the first example we're going to look at is let's say we're given the scale one inch to three inches. Again, we remember that scales without units are scales that have the same units. So because these already have the same units, we can simply drop those units and write our scale as one to three. If we look at another scale of one inch to three feet, now we notice that our units in this scale are not the same. So before we can write this as a scale without units, we would need to either change inches to feet or change feet to inches. In this case, it's probably more reasonable for us to change our feet to inches. Since we know that there is 12 inches in one foot, we can find the number of inches by taking the number of feet and multiplying it by the number of inches in each foot. So three times 12 would give us 36. 36 inches. So now we know one inch represents 36 inches. Now because our units are the same we can simply drop those units and write our scale as 1 to 36.